Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is part 3 of our Zamarin Farm tutorial series. In this part, we will learn about entry or text field or text box and Zamarin forms. So, uh, if I come to the solution and let me show you this, then we have uh, three projects in this. One is this uh, entry in Zamarin forms and a entry in Zamarin forms Android and end in Zamarin form iOS which is uh, this one so I'll collapse these two these two because we have to work in this uh, entry in Zamarin forms because we are uh, building this app for both Android and iOS so for that we have to work in this so I will uh, double click on this and we come to this code so I will remove all of, all of this code except this tag layout and this uh, uh, content page tags so I'll remove this and now we will start creating here an entry so for that I'll uh, use a tag and then an entry and here it takes some properties now it is password so if it is password uh, then I have to choose this that but I'm not using password so I'll use placeholder here placeholder and uh, I'll uh, here I will uh, give the placeholder enter your name and then I can use the font size so I'll use font size as uh, uh, body and uh, then I can use a uh, background color so I can use background color as a uh, color uh, not chocolate I can use uh, blue violet and uh, I can use another property as well so that will be uh, text color so test color I can use uh, not text but text color and here I will use uh, brown this one and now I'll close the tag now if I run this application right now so I have connected my device to this which is uh, Vivo V2043 so I'll go to this uh, Visual to create its, its projection or mirror its screen here now as I have connected my device this one so I'll click on display now the device is connected so we have to wait for a running of this project now the application is running on the device so if I go to device now you can see entry here text box here but now the background color is not looking good so I will remove this background color so I have to remove this and now if I rerun this or refresh this now if I go to device now you can see we have an entry here uh, a text box here so um, I can enter something into this and you can see we have uh, made the text color as uh, uh, brown so it is showing brown color text now we will create a button down here and uh, button and uh, the text will be uh, get value from entry and uh, then we will create the click event so click the and uh, here I will use the closing tag now we have to go to I will control s this and we have to go to the code so for that I will right click and uh, I will click on view code and now we are in code so here I will create a method down here 
public wide uh, button is clicked and uh, now here I have to use object obj and then comma uh, event args args and now down here uh, when the button is clicked this uh, method will fire up now I'll go to this uh, main page dot a dot xaml file and here I will call this uh, button is clicked method now we have to create uh, a label as well so I'll create a label label and uh, here are the text uh, I'll use text okay the label spell is uh, incorrect label and then we will use the text and uh, this is a label and then I will use a name I will give it a name so name is a label and then uh, I'll use font size uh, I will use a uh, large and uh, now I'll use also margins so margin so I'll make this uh, to take 20 from each side so I'll also give some margin to this entry as well as to the button so margin 20 and uh, I'll also give margin to this uh, button so margin 20 and I'll set a background color to this uh, button as well background color uh, blurry wood okay now I'll go to I'll control s this and go to main page dot zamil.cs file control s this as well and now I can access the label with this name this one uh, this name equal to label so I can access this label with this label uh, name so I'll use label dot text is equal to now we have given a name to this uh, entry no we haven't given any name so I'll give it a name uh, name equals and uh, here I will use a uh, entry underscore name and now I'll control s this and I will go to this and here I will use entry underscore name dot text and semicolon now if I run this application right now now if I go to device so it is running now uh, it appeared so now if I enter here something uh, my name is uh, Madasir and now if I get this now you can see that it is appended to this label uh, so that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you